So I'm back with Jerry, Hispanic Jerry, okay, Mexican Jerry. And this is the co-main event. This is a super flyweight boxing, Poe Denman, who we've seen before on Potion Fight Night, and Fanny Palumpi, hopefully I said your last name right. And Poe is Thai, and Fanny is Greek. So that's mm. pretty cool. Fanny's had 92 pro Muay Thai fights. Wow. She's 79 wins, 32 losses, one draw. That's a lot of fights. So 112 fights total. Poe has had 10 fights. And she's had eight wins, two losses. So there's an experience differential. But Paul's part of the Denman camp, so you know the Denmans seem to be a formidable team here. So and this is a boxing match too, so Poe's got her right hand closer to her, her face now. Last time she kept paying for that. Um she was fighting Marie last time and um, Marie kept hitting her. So Poe's hands are closer, left right hand's closer to her face now. And you see, uh, look at the difference between the guard that Fanny has, which is Poe's. So. The ref is in the way. I can see, but you see, that was a good body jab. You got, you got your head off center line, Poe's throwing a body jab too, but her right hand left her face, which is not the best form. So. Just, woof, that was good. So this is almost more like a fencing, kind of, right now what they're doing. <laughs> Just fencing, which is fine. I mean, you can start out with the jab slowly. But, yeah, it's just very fencing -like. But you know, I can't. I can't say I'm much better. I, I usually only hit people with jabs, and then when uh, people hit me with hooks, I cry. So, <laughs> I mean, the hardest I've been hit, I think, was with a hook. I mean, you, you got hit with a cross once that dazed you, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So for me, I think I don't know. Hooks are just something about those things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, yeah. Um, it, another thing to notice is, um, woo! Okay, that was wild. Fanny's just picking her moments. Yeah, exactly. Fanny's more shoulder off. I think Post much more bladed. There's a little bit of difference in how they say, ooh, that was a great punch that Fanny landed on. Oh. It's so funny. This is kind of like how when I spar, I kind of pick my shots too. If someone bull rushes me or whatever, I, I don't do well. So that's how you beat Jerry in sparring. You bull rush him and he usually cries. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, uh, good head movement by Poe. The, the one thing is, if you notice, um, Fanny, when she faints, she gets po both of Poe's hands to react. So Fanny could probably capitalize on that. Also, when Poe um, uh, parries with her right, her hands leave her face too much. She doesn't need to leave too much. So those are two kind of uh, things that Fanny could exploit. And there's a little wild flailing in Poe's arm sometimes, but she's not as experienced as Fanny. So those habits will leave as she keeps training. Ooh, little hook exited from the little clinch they had. Both training jabs. Hey ref, maybe it's time for you to yeah, exactly. That ref's standing very far. He's like, I don't want to get hit by them. I might get knocked out too. So that was the <laughs> end of the first round. Well, that was a quick round. I think if this is co-main event, this might be five rounds, I believe. So it might be a longer fight. They said that was a good head wound by Poe, I noticed that. She did turn her back, but in this case it's okay. So both of them are going to the body and the head, which is better than some of the other fights we've seen. And while we're at it, guys, you're watching CFC, and this is also a collaboration with thedojo.com. So go check out the dojo. I'm Jerry, and this is the two Jerry's fight commentary breakdowns. Mm -hmm. Hispanic Jerry. Hispanic Jerry, Asian Jerry. And you can find us on the dojo in addition to on fight commentary breakdowns. I don't know how many of you watch our channel, but you find us on Fight Commentary Breakdowns on Facebook, YouTube, etc., and on The Dojo. And you'll find more CFC stuff on The Dojo, so definitely check it all out. Also, um, Ali's Barbecue sponsored corner makes me a little hungry. <laughs> We're here commentating from California, so a lot of good Mexican food here. Oh, there's a lot of good barbecue place, too. There's a really good barbecue place in Culver City. Okay, enough about food. Back, <laughs> back to the fights. 
Fanny has the height advantage, doesn't yeah. she? She definitely has but a height. But she's shrinking herself into her stance, yeah. and I think Poe's doing the same. Yeah. If Poe can just stand up straight and a little bit, huh? just guard herself, guard herself not, a little not more. shrink yeah. down, she might be able to capitalize on a few of her hooks. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I get it why Poe's hands are like that, but knowing that she's she's paid a few times for her hands not being attached to her chin, and it happened last fight too. But if you have your hands there, kind of lower, it's a little more deceptive. Woo! Oh, Fanny definitely there. won this exchange. Poe's got a little overhook <laughs> on Fanny. Also, um, we've talked about this before, but the lighting is not very conducive. It, certain angles, if you don't look. You're gonna blind yourself. So, if some fighters could probably take advantage of this, position yourself so <laughs> the other person's facing the blinding light. That was good. Both of them looked angry. Yeah, look for an opening. Yeah, definitely. Well, so if I were pull, I, I would. Put my jab hand a little higher, especially because, like you said, Fanny's shrinking. Yeah, she's really tight, right? If your jab hand's a little higher, you can put your jab at her face more. Post jab hand so low. There we go. I mean, with your hand being so low, it's it's harder for her to see when you jab, right? But oh, great cross. Fanny's great with the with with the combos right now. <laughs> he's there. He's looking down. That's one thing. Sometimes I practice. I try to, I try to not look where I'm hitting. It's much easier said than done. You lost that. Yeah, that, that's a bad habit that I think Poe has. Even though she has head movement, she keeps giving her back when she's doing the slipping and the rolling and the whatever all the other terms. So, so far, I think Fanny's winning this. Okay, she got a Playboy <laughs> sports bra. Huh. I think uh, we need to reach out to Playboy. <laughs> Give us some sponsorship. Hey, maybe she has an OnlyFans account. Maybe, huh? Yeah, you never know. I mean, um, uh, previous Full Metal Dojos, they actually got sponsored by Cam Soda. So. Huh. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't be a thing to not reach out to. Uh, only fan interesting. So, end of the second round. I think Fanny definitely took this. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So, posed down by two rounds now. Oof. Fanny's had more combos and she's picked her moments to go in. Yeah. Yeah. And part of the reason why Poe ate so many shots during that first exchange we saw was because Poe's hands were not close to her face. If her hands were closer to her face, instead of getting tangled, just hold it in. Just be tight. You might take a few shots, but your gloves are also gonna help absorb some of that impact. So, a good lesson we're learning. Right. And Poe's very static too yeah. throughout the whole fight. She's yeah. Just standing in one place, bouncing up and down. Yeah. She needs to angle out yeah. more. That's making it easy for Fanny to take a moment to go in. Definitely. And Poe, of course, part of the Denman camp. She is. Oh, she's done left way too. Both post on boxing, Muay Thai, and left way. Man. She's actually done the first female bare knuckle like tie, first tie female bare knuckle fight, which is pretty cool. And um, Fanny's have a lot of accolades. We'll reach. We'll read off later. She's got a lot of. So you could kind of say this might be a little bit of a mismatch. Fanny might have a lot more experience. Sometimes you never want to underestimate the underdog. Well, she has a lot more professional experience yeah, or exactly. semi-pro experience, but Poe, I mean, she's done that way and she's been like pioneering bare knuckle fights and stuff. She, yeah. well, forced to she right. should be able to carry her weight. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Poe's almost doing like a Philly shell now, you notice. I mean, a lot of times when you start getting tired, a Philly shell is a natural thing to do, right? Because one of your hands don't have to stay up. 
At least that's that's me when I get tired. So when Jerry switches to a Philly shell, if you spar him, you know he's getting tired. I'm giving away ways to beat me. But I'm easy, you can beat me easily, so there's it's not like a secret. But I don't think the Philly shell is a good idea for Pro because of the height advantage. Yeah. Disadvantage. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, one of the weaknesses of the Philly shells, they can come off top come from the top and hit you from a from above, right? Exactly. So if you're if you got lightning reflexes or you're taller than foot shell works. Yeah. The camera's tripping me out because from this angle Poe looks bigger. She looks taller. So. I don't know if it's a trick of the camera or something. Oh that was a great little hook that or um, maybe it was a right that Fanny landed. Ref keeps blocking. <laughs> See, dude. Oh, that was. Oh, look at that. Yeah, gorgeous head to the body, etc. So Post definitely lost this round. Yeah, you gotta follow up. Though, she's flicked the jab a few times, but you gotta follow up with other strikes in general. Just combos. And I think part of just having more experience is that combos are more of your muscle memory. Oh, I hesitated there with the right. That's a good little uh, head movement. Like Fanny is dropping her right now when she, sometimes when he, she strikes. So, I could probably take advantage of that. See, see how bright the lights are, dude? <laughs> Put one with the light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they're both orthodox, right? So some strategies and, and kind of the angles they can do. I'm thinking about right now. They're both too static right now. Yeah. So funny. The way the way they're fighting is kind of how I spar with some people. Like, <laughs> I see, I see a lot of like uncanniness in me. That was a good connection that Poe did, but Poe landed way more strikes than this. Hopefully we'll see that beautiful moment where, where she did the head and she landed in the body later. Nope, they didn't show that. Yeah, this is, uh, I believe this is five rounds, so. Oh, no, there's not five rounds. This is ten rounds. Honestly, it was a, it was a pretty exciting fight. I forgot how many rounds have passed, so it might be the end. Good little display of friendship and camaraderie and professionalism after the fight. I wonder if they speak in Thai or they speak in English. Or hmm. they speak in Greek. <laughs> or, you know, surprise us, maybe they speak in Latin or something to each other. There's like a fighter language that we don't know about. I mean, the fighter... Oh, it's a draw. I... Disagree with that, I think yeah. Fanny won. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I disagree with that decision. I think Fanny won. So, next up, we have our main event, a kickboxing event. Mariana versus Nongnoi. So, if you are excited about this match, the next match will be more exciting. Mm -hmm.